Technique number four. To ensure good continuity, watch for clean entrances and clean exits. Okay, here this guy is at this uh, machine, and he's going to reach down, push the button, and relax. Did that look logical and normal to you and fine? It was. There was nothing wrong with that. And the reason is because when he took his hand off the machine, before we go to the next shot, we have what's known as a clean entrance. Notice his hand comes cleanly into the shot. There's no hand there for a split second, and it comes cleanly into the shot. By allowing just that ever so subtle event to occur, the continuity makes sense. Similarly, he pulls his hand away, clean exit. He's got his hand clearly out of the picture, and that makes sense in this shot because he obviously isn't pushing the buttons anymore. His hand is by his side. When you don't pay attention to clean entrances and clean exits, the video continuity looks suspicious. Watch this next clip very carefully. His hand is on top of the computer, but here we failed to do a clean entrance. We did a clean exit, but it is not properly matched again because he's still pushing buttons. That's bad continuity. And here's another example of incorrectly done entrances and exits. The car backs onto the street. Here it is, backing out of the driveway. And in this next shot, it's already pulling into the gas station. That's bad continuity. Here's the proper way to handle two separate locations. You always need at least one clean exit or one clean entrance. For example, we allowed a clean exit with this shot, so the appearance of the car here at the gas station is acceptable. But if we don't give the first shot a clean exit, we definitely need to allow for a clean entrance at the gas station to have proper continuity.